Welcome to this video, where I'll be showing you how to build a simple loop using the Lightpad block and loop block with Logic Pro X. To begin, connect your blocks to the computer. Switch them on and open Dashboard. Click on the Lightpad and choose the Logic Control app. Then click on the loop block and choose the Logic Control again. Now quit Dashboard. Let's start with the Lightpad block. In Logic, I have created three software instrument tracks. On the left-hand side of the Lightpad, there is a glowing mode button, which you can use to access two modes. The first allows you to control the volume of your tracks directly from the Lightpad block. You can also select which track you want to work on here. The second gives you access controls for mute, solo, and panning to left and right. Now, introducing the loop block. The loop block helps you produce faster by giving you access to key controls in Logic. The two modes on the light pad can also be accessed through the volume button here. This is the mode button on the loop block. You can use it to cycle through the instrument grids and the smart controls for your selected track. To get your timing right, Turn on the click. You can turn the loop function on or off with this button. Let's lay down a loop using the 3x3 grid. The second mode is a drum grid. Let's add some drums to the loop we've laid down. The third is an instrument grid. This is automatically set to the C scale, so you can follow the lights to add a melody. If you make a mistake, you can press the arrow button, followed by the minus button, to undo your last loop. But if you change your mind, you can press the arrow, followed by the plus, to redo your last loop. And, of course, you can use the record and play button to control recording and playback, as you've already seen. That's it for this video. Have fun trying this out for yourself. And don't forget to check out our Learn page if you want to learn more about blocks.